Hi everyone. So we're going to talk a little bit about knee stability. Um, something that's really important here is making sure that our knees track where they're supposed to. That's really the biggest thing. Um, it's going to also help with like balance and things like that. Any type of like single leg exercise or balance exercise is going to help with knee stability. Squats, as long as your knees are tracking where they're supposed to. Um, step ups, again, as long as your knees are tracking where they're supposed to, um, which is the main thing. So I'm going to kind of show you what that looks like um, for that to happen. Also, it's going to be like any type of lateral motion, um, like glute bridges, bridges, things like that are going to help. So I'm going to put you guys right here. So kind of how that works. So y'all can see my knees. Well, now y'all can see my knees. So right now you can see my knees are kind of inward. That's just because of the way that my hips are and how I stand. So they're not going to be tracking. If I were to squat, they would be tracking forward and in. So we would not want that. We also don't want them to track too much out where I'm like really rolling over onto the side of my foot and they're not tracking over the ankle. So we always want to make sure they're tracking straight. It is okay if your knee goes over your toe, as long as it tracks straight. Like I said, we don't want to track here. We don't want to track out. Obviously, if we're doing anything that has like your toes turned out, you still want your knees to track over your ankles. So they're still tracking straight. We're not here. We're here. That's why I always say push something against the wall. That way it's going to get you to where your knees are tracking where they're supposed to be. So say we're doing a side lunge, right? My knee is still going straight. It's not turned in. It's not turned away from me it's tracking straight. So you always wanna make sure that when you do those things, you're tracked where you're supposed to. Um, that's the number one thing with knee stability. So if you're feeling like you're doing squats and you're like kind of coming in, or again, going too far out and you're not tracking right, you're gonna have knee pain. Um, and we, no one really wants that. So also when it comes to like side things, so if we ever do like a sidewalk with a band or anything like that, you'll hear me say to press your knees outward and almost rotate out. It's gonna engage your glute, but that's gonna help to keep your knees so they're tracking over the ankles. Something that we want. That's like the biggest, biggest, biggest thing when it comes to knee stability. Again, anything that's a balance, you know, you can kind of focus on a little bit at a time where you're like, oh, let me just see, but not locking out the leg keeping that knee slightly bent, making sure you're not tracking in or tracking out. Sometimes with like single leg RDLs, if you're coming back, sometimes I notice, you know, you may be coming inward to offset the balance instead of keeping the knee tracking over. So a really good exercise you can do is wall slide. So if you have socks on your feet, so here's a wall, pretend my elbow is my knee, um, but you'd kind of glide up the wall to track your knee so it's straight and then you glide back down. You wanna keep from your heel to your toes glued to the wall, you just come up the wall and back down the wall, making sure to track your knees straight so you're not letting them turn in, you're not letting them rotate out, just up and down on the wall. So that's a little bit on knee stability and kind of how that works. If you have any questions, leave a comment below.